If you're eating low calories but you can't seem to lose weight, it's probably one of these three reasons. Number one, you're not tracking correctly. Now this is a super common mistake and I even see this with more experienced clients that have been tracking macros and calories for quite some time. For example, if I go onto MyFitnessPal on my phone or any calorie tracking app and I simply type in chicken breast, look at all the different numbers and calorie amounts that I'm gonna get. So how the fuck is anyone meant to know which one to pick? Well, I'm gonna show you how. So if I go on here, before I type in any raw ingredient, you're gonna type in nut tab, N-U-T-T-A-B, or you can type in USDA, then the ingredient. This is gonna be a lot more accurate. The other way you can do this is to scan the barcode of a food item, and I find majority of the time that will be pretty accurate as well. So if you're doing all of that, then you are good to go. Now, if you just type in chicken curry or steak, and then you just click whatever, this is probably the biggest reason why you're not seeing any progress. Always make sure that you enter the food items separately. That's a huge, huge mistake. Never just type in curry or spag bowl or whatever you're putting in. Put all those ingredients in separately, which leads me Another mistake with people tracking incorrectly is eyeballing. As humans, we are notoriously bad at eyeballing our food. And when it takes literally three seconds longer to weigh out your food, just do it because you're gonna be 10 times more accurate. And the last mistake for not tracking correctly is something I like to call sneaky cows. Cows? Cows, cows, sneaky cows, sneaky calories, all right? This is basically all the foods and all, all the calories that you consume on a daily basis that you forget to track. So this is things like oil in your pan, milks in your coffee, the sneaky desk snacks that you steal from Karen at the office, extra sauces on your food and other little things like this. Now, unfortunately, these little bastards can add up pretty quickly over the week and over the days. And before you know it, you've pushed your weekly calories up a lot more than you think. So you think you're eating low calories and they're actually a lot higher than you think. Number two, you're having massive cheat meals or even worse, cheat days. Now this can literally ruin a day's progress or even worse, multiple days or a week's progress depending on how big it is. If you blow out and have a whole cheat day, AKA a binge, you can easily destroy your week's progress. This kills any momentum that you're gaining with your fat loss progress. And then you just go back to low calories thinking that you're eating too low or your calories are too low and should you put them up. But really your weekly calories because of those binges are much higher. For an example, a Domino's Meat Lovers pizza has roughly 1200 to 1300 calories. And that's just with the normal crust. You add that cheesy crust in there, maybe a little bit of garlic bread. Whew, you are absolutely fucked with your calorie deficit. Because let's be real, when it comes to a cheat meal, let's not even go there with cheat days. When it comes to a cheat meal, you're not gonna hold back. And you're still eating all your regular meals throughout that day and throughout that week. And then generally, this is just gonna completely slow down your progress or make it so slow that it barely feels like you're making progress. And you're probably gonna get into that vicious cycle of lowering your calories, lowering your calories, and then thinking, wow, I'm really not eating many calories and I'm not making progress. And I've been there. That's not a good place to be. And number three, the final one is you're not actually making any of those mistakes at all. And unfortunately, you've just hit a plateau with your fat loss and your calories do need to come down some more or you need to increase your energy output. Now this one sucks, but it's just part of the process when it comes to losing body fat. And more often than not, the calories that you started your fat loss phase on are not gonna be the calories that you finish on. And that's because when you start to lose body fat and you lose weight, you require less calories on a daily basis. So for example, let's say you start at 90 kilograms, you drop down to 80 kilograms. So you've lost a good 10 kilos, but you still wanna to continue to lose some more. You're now a much smaller human, which means you require less calories on a daily basis to maintain your weight. So those calories you started on, maybe it was a good five, 600 calorie deficit for you. Now it's maybe 100 or 200 calorie deficit. So the progress is so slow, you don't really see it or it's, around maintenance calories. So if you are in this scenario, you can simply lower the calories, you can increase the energy output or a combination of both. I personally highly recommend just picking one at the start. So let's say you choose to lower your calories, you could drop them by five to 10%. So let's say you're on 2000 calories right now, you could drop down to 1900 or 1800. And of course, if you don't wanna lower your food intake, you can simply increase your energy output. Now how you do this will depend on a few things, but I would recommend either increasing your daily steps or adding in some structured cardio. And of course, how much is gonna depend on too many different scenarios. But what I'd recommend is just making sure that you're tracking it consistently and just bumping it up a bit from there. Don't go from doing no cardio to doing it every single day. Start with two or three times per week. If you're doing 10,000 steps a day already, then just go to 12. Don't go straight to like 15 or something crazy. But whichever one of those you choose, lower the calories, increase the output, just make sure you can do it consistently and you track your progress on a daily and weekly basis to make sure that it's working. Just on this topic, one final mistake that I see is people comparing their calories 
to someone else's maybe they've seen on the internet or wherever their friend and they're thinking oh this person is losing fat on this amount of calories or this person's bulking on this amount of calories you should never base your calories and macronutrients off someone else's because there's so much that goes into it and also genetics do play a role so it literally does not matter what someone else is doing if you're eating a certain amount of calories and you've not done the first couple of mistakes like we spoke about you're actually eating that amount of calories you're not seeing any progress at all it means it's your maintenance calories at the moment it's not working for you so you need to make one of those adjustments we just spoke about i hope that video was helpful and if you are trying to lose body fat and you want to get those abs to pop then i'd recommend checking out this video here